Hello Aries, this is you versus them for the 29th through the 4th of February. Let's see what's going on. What were your past issues with the relationship? Or what are your issues with the relationship if you are currently with this person? Let's see, Aries. Hmm. Maybe it had no growth here for you. You felt like it wasn't going anywhere. You guys didn't have the excitement that you wanted in your life. Um, maybe you were the only one that was putting in all the work to make sure that everything went off without a hitch. You know, maybe you um, felt like they had someone else involved, like it wasn't just um, you and, and your partner. Okay. Maybe you felt like they were a little too mothering or a little too itchy <laughs> you know so yeah let's see what their past issues were with the relationship Aries person what's their past issues with the relationship hmm maybe they felt like it was not enough um, like you couldn't let things go um, not enough forgiveness not enough um, healing energy like it made them feel bad okay for some of you they didn't have any issues they felt like you were everything that they needed everything that they wanted they felt like you guys were meant to be okay for some of you there were no issues you were it okay so let's see what's keeping you from your person What's keeping Aries from their person? Hmm. The King of Pentacles. Maybe this person is stubborn or likes, um, they like to keep up appearances. Um, maybe they are materialistic, self-centered. Feels like, you know, if they give you money, then, um, you know, you're good when you need emotions and all that stuff too. Um, so I think, you know, this person likes to keep up appearances more than anything. Maybe they feel like they know more than you, you know? Hmm. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Maybe this person actually, <laughs> you were what's keeping them from you. Hmm. The fact that you're not allowing them in yeah this is you not allowing them in what's keeping them from you is they feel like you don't want to you don't want anything to do with them at this point like you're done you're over with it you're not accepting any of their love and you're not giving them love it's like you have completely backed off you have completely backed off cancer energy there they feel like you're bored with them. You're not attracted to them anymore. Let's see what's currently going on with you guys. Let's see what's currently going on with Aries here. What's currently going on with Aries? Hmm. There's something that you're interested in. Um, I think you're a little leery about it, but I think you're just wanting to move forward. Um, you want, you're being kind of lighthearted. You're taking everything in stride right now is what I'm getting. Not moving too fast, kind of, you know, judging your next steps, what's best for you. Let's see what's currently going on with them. What's currently going on with Aries person? Trying to be unemotional about the situation that's at hand right now is what they're doing. Um, they're really trying to figure out why you're not offering anymore because I, I get the impression that you guys probably you know flooded this person with emotion when you were with them um, if you're still with them it's like you know you could give or take them they can go and say please and it's like you know what I'm, I'm done and over with this you know I, I've given way too much already I was a star for you but you couldn't see it when I was with you or you can't see it now because you just you, you do too much you know if they had someone else or they have someone else currently it's like you know what I don't have anything else to offer you 
you you've just you know you you've killed it basically is what I'm getting here like like they killed it like you're really not wanting to offer any more second chances or second chances at all and you know they're trying to figure it out like like really what has happened here because Aries was very loving to me always forgiving of me trying to make it work and you're not doing that anymore just not let's see what your outside influences are right now Hmm. I think you're blocking them out. I think that um, that you've made your decision. Both of the swords are raised. It's like not only do you know the truth, you know what you want to do with them. You know how to handle them. And I think if they try to come towards you, the swords are by your side right now. You cross them over like I, there is no entry here. It's like you have all the knowledge that you need right now. Mm -mm, I don't think you're indecisive at all. I think you know exactly what you want. Okay. Let's see what their outside influences are. What are their outside influences here? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is... Um, they're they're really concentrating on making money spending money getting more money like but they also i feel want a commitment with you if you guys are not already committed and you know just having problems within your relationship this is somebody that i feel wants to take care of you they want to be there for you and I don't think that this person, you know, they're not emotionally mature. They're not emotionally available. I think they show their emotions by what they buy you or what they do for you on a material level is what I'm getting here. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for my Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Hmm. The Queen of Wands. Yeah. I think you're just trying to... It's like there's something that you guys are really, really interested in. And I really think it has more to do with um, self-exploration. Building up yourself, your confidence. Um, taking care of your family. Doing things for your family. Going on trips. It's like... There's something in your life that you're really trying to attain right now on a personal level, okay? And you're very excited about it. Um, some of you are like exercising, um, trying to get your money up. It's like everything, everything about your life is like you are on, on this, um, on this, have this task to improve every aspect is what I'm getting here. Everything you're trying to work on. And I think you're doing you're looking pretty while you're doing it. Okay? Is what I'm feeling. Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? The hierophant. I feel like this person strongly. This is a strong Taurus Gemini individual here. Maybe Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, but I'm feeling strong. Um Taurus, Gemini, cusp maybe, but um, I feel like this person is really wanting a commitment here, if you guys don't already have one. I feel like they want to be whatever it is that um, you wanted them to be before. They're still not very emotional though. They still don't have a lot of emotion to offer. And I feel like they think that, you know, if they take care of you, if they just say the words that you want them to say here with this King of Swords and give you the commitment that you want, is willing to take care of you, then I feel like um, this person thinks that all should be good here with you. Okay? Let's see what you guys, your blockage is. What is Aries blockage here? What's Aries blockage? Hmm. 
Some of you may be in love with someone else. I don't really feel that though. I just don't think that um, you have that loving feeling for them anymore. I think you guys love this person. I don't think that spark is there though. I don't think that um, that you're choosing to continue, you know, with this relationship. I I just don't get that feeling. You're not you're not wanting to. It it depleted you. I feel like before, and so now you've just kind of given up on it. You've kind of given up on it. Let's see what their blockage is. Yeah, the King of Cups. They're not emotionally stable. They do not have. Um, they don't have the emotions to offer right now. And I feel like they are. It, it's just the way they are. It's how they've come up. You know, if this person is in their 40s, this is how they are. You know, and I'm not saying that it's a good or bad thing, depending on what kind of person that you are. I know for myself, you know, that, you know, I do want somebody to show me other than buying me um, Louis Vuitton purses and things that they care for me, you know. So, yeah, but they, it's almost like they are emotionally bankrupt for some reason. I'm getting that, okay. Something has happened with them before in the past. Maybe childhood as well. Let's see, what is the advice for Aries? What's the advice for Aries here? Yeah, do what you feel is right and necessary for you at this point. Um, do what you feel is necessary for you. But plan plan your steps wisely. You know, how you how you want your life to go from here on, you know? Because I get the feeling you guys are, you're scorned. You're scorned here is what I'm getting. This person must have really did a number on you. Let's see what the advice is for Aries person. What's the advice for Aries person? Hmm. Growth. You see we have the Empress repeating itself right here. This is a start over. This is to treat you like who they feel already that you are. They probably just have not shown it to you. They need to show you that you are important to them, that they do see themselves being with you, that you are their everything as far as love is concerned. Okay? They also need to grow inside and be the empress. Be more emotional. Be more caring. Take on more of the feminine aspects and be more receptive. Be more receptive, okay? It's, it's, that's for them, to be more receptive. Taurus energy right there. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Aries in this situation? The King of Wands. Yeah, you guys are working on something because you're going from the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, to the King of Wands. Which the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are basically the, the same, they do the same things basically, only the Queen is more receptive, okay? It's a feminine energy. But the King is more, and they function from a more emotional standpoint. The King has emotions, but he's more controlled, okay? He's, he's more... Um, both of these are business owners, so I feel like you guys are, are making strides towards, um, towards something. And I feel like it is like, as far as your finances, because you have the empress here, you have the empress here, and then it's like you're steady growing. You guys are on a path to, to really like expanding your life here is what I'm feeling with the king of wands. Um, I do think you'll be more active. I think you'll be more proactive with things. I'm just not so sure um, if it's, you know, you were really focused on love at this point. I don't think you guys are really focused on love at this point. Maybe some of you have given up with what has happened in the past. Let's see what the outcome is for them. What is the outcome for the Aries person? Hmm. I feel like they they will they will be happy. I feel, um, but I think they're seeking you. 
and they will come become self-aware. I feel like they will realize that what they were lacking was showing you that they loved you, not buying you things, not paying your bills, but actually showing you that they really love you, that they weren't just ignoring you here. Okay, so this is them being more self-aware here, being enlightened, being happy. So that's good. That's good. So, you know, if you guys are interested in this person, um, then they're not doing horribly bad. They are not, you know, it seems like they could grow emotionally for sure here with this King of Cups. And I feel like they will. I feel like they will. I feel like they will try at least. Because I feel like you are what makes them happy here. Because we have the star at the beginning with the past. And then we have the sun. So there's something about you that really makes this person happy. I want to see what this... I'm using the wrong cards here. But I want to see what this empress is about. What's your issue? The sun. Huh. And they have the sign. No growth. This person not realizing that, you know, because the sun, of course, is growth. Without the sun, you know, everything will kind of die off. Wow. So we have the empress here in the sun. Then we have the empress here in the sun. Guys, that speaks volumes. You weren't happy. You weren't just weren't not were not happy with this person. Let's see what the star is here for. Yeah. This is a truth. This is realizing some things. And I feel like in the past this person did not realize exactly who you are. To them. They didn't show you how much you matter to them. They didn't tell you how much you mattered to them. You felt like they could give a shit here. You felt like they could give a shit here. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you my Aries friends and I will be speaking with you guys soon.